All right, hello everyone. Here we are. We're reading a very special book again today. Love all the stories the Lord brings to us. And this is Miss Brewer. We're in my kitchen live. And we're reading the story today. Well, now it's called The Little Engine That Could. It's by Waddy Piper with new art by Lauren Long. Let's go. The Little Engine That Could. Ah, this is a good one, y'all. I dedicated this book, a very dear friend and sister of ours, when um, she was uh, going into the hospital. And anyway, I just love her very dearly. So, you know who you are if you're watching. And, you know, it's amazing the Lord can gives us things, you know, and it, and it will seem different to us, you know, the Lord, you know. You kind of wonder if you really should say it or or or, t or tell it, you know, to someone else. But we never know what the Lord, that that's something that can touch their heart, you know, to give them what they need in that, in that time. So, anyway... I just hope you will be blessed because there's this story is for someone or all of us. So just be open to hear, you know, what the Lord has to say. The little engine that could. Retold by Waddy Piper with new art by Lauren, Lauren Long. Thank you, Lord. Love you, Jesus, so much, Lord. The little engine that could. This is for all of us. Oh. Chug, 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 puff, 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 ding dong, ding dong. The little train rumbled over the tracks. She was a happy little train, for she had such a jolly load to carry. Her cars were filled with full of good things for boys and girls. Good things. There were toy animals, giraffes, and with long necks, teddy bears with almost no necks at all, and even a baby elephant. Then there were dolls, dolls with blue eyes and yellow curls, dolls with brown eyes and brown bobbed heads, and the funniest little toy clown you ever saw. And there were cars full of toy engines, airplanes, tops, jackknives, picture puzzle, books, and every kind of thing boys and girls could want. But that was not all. Some of the cars were filled with all sorts of good things for boys and girls to eat. Big golden oranges, red checked apples, bottles of creamy milk for their breakfast, fresh spinach for their dinners, peppermint drops and lollipops for after meal treats. The little train was carrying all these wonderful things to the good little boys and girls on the other side of the mountain. She puffed along merrily. Mmm, merrily. With great joy. Then all of a sudden, she stopped with a jerk. She simply could go, not go another inch. She tried and she tried, but her wheels would not turn. What well, were all, what were all those good little boys and girls on the other side of the mountain going to do without the wonderful toys to play with or the good food to eat? She was thinking of others still. Here comes a shiny new engine, said the funny little clown, who jumped out of the train. Let's ask him to help us. So all the toys and, and dolls cried out together, please, shiny new engine, won't you please pull our train over the mountain? Our engine has broken down and the boys and girls on the other side won't have any toys to play with or good food to eat unless you help us.
but the shiny new engine snorted. I pull you? I am a passenger engine. I have just carried a fine big train over the mountain. With more cars than you ever dreamed of, my train had sleeping cars with comfortable berths, a dining car where waiters be bring whatever hungry people want to eat, and parlor cars in which people sit in soft armchairs and look out of big plate glass windows. I pull the likes of you? Indeed not. Look at his face. His arms stretched open wide. And off he steamed to the roadhouse where engines live when they are not busy. How sad the little train and all the do toys fell. Then the little clown called out, The passenger engine is not the only one in the world. Here is another engine coming, a great big strong one. Let us ask him to help us. The little toy clown waved his flag and the big strong engine came to a stop. Please, oh please, big engine, cried all the dolls and toys together. Won't you please pull our train over the mountain? Our engine has broken down and the good little boys and girls on the other side won't have any toys to play with or good food to eat unless you help us. But the big, strong engine bellowed. I am a flight engine. I have just pulled a big train loaded with big M machines over the mountain. These machines print books and newspapers for grown-ups to read. I am a very important engine indeed. I won't pull the likes of you. And the brake engine popped off indignantly to the roundhouse. The little train and all the toys and, and dolls were very sad. Cheer up, said the little toy clown. He's always encouraging. He has hope. The fright engine is not the only one in the world. Here comes another. He looks very old and tired, but our train is so little. Perhaps he can help us. So the little toy clown waved his flag and the dingy, rusty old engine stopped. Please, kind engine, cried all the dolls and toys together. Won't you please pull our train over the mountain? Our engine has broken down and the boys and, and girls on the other side won't have any toys to play with or good food to eat unless you help us. But the rusty old engine sighed. I, I am so tired. I must rest my weary wheels. I cannot pull even so little a train as yours over the mountain. I cannot, I cannot, I cannot. And off he rumbled to the roadhouse chugging. I cannot, I cannot, I cannot. Then indeed the little train was very, very sad. And the dolls and toys were ready to cry. But the little clown called out, here's another engine coming, a little blue engine, a very little one. Maybe she will help us. The very little engine came chug chuggly merrily long. When she saw the toy clown's flag, she stopped quickly. What's the matter, my dear friends? She asked kindly. Oh, little blue engine, 
cried the dolls and toys. Will you please pull us over the mountain? Our engine has broken down and the good boys and girls on the other side won't have any toys to play with or good food to eat unless you help us. Please, please help us, little blue engine. I'm not very big, said the little blue engine. They use me only for switching trains in the yard. I've never been over the mountain. But we must get over the mountain before the children awake, said the dolls and the toys. The very little engine looked up and saw the tears and the doll's eyes. And she thought of the good little boys and girls on the other side of the mountain who would not have any toys or food unless she helped. Then she said, I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. And she hitched herself to the little train. She tugged and pulled and pulled and tugged and slowly, 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 they started off. The toy clown jumped aboard. Look at there, and all the doll, dolls and toy animals began to smile and cheer. Puff, puff, chug, chug, went the little blue engine. I think I can, 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 up, 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 faster and faster and faster the little engine climbed. Yay, for little blue engine. Down in the valley, uh oh, we missed a page. Almost. Until at last they reached the top of the mountain. Look at there. Down in the valley lay the city. Hooray! Hooray! cried the, the funny little clown and all the dolls and toys. The good little boys and girls in the city will be happy because you helped us, kind little blue engine. And the little blue engine smiled and seemed to say as she puffed steadily down the mountain, I thought I could. 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 And look, and she did, didn't she? That's a wonderful story. So this here's like every little thing no matter what comes along our way even though we may want it or think it might be the right thing we don't give up we may have mountains that are in our um it may be something as simple as learning how to tie a shoe but it may seem like a mountain to a child or learning to pull up your pants or learning how to eat just remember the story about the little engine that could because we all go through mountains and as long as we have Jesus we can get through we go through whatever as long as we have him so I just want to encourage you all just to remember about the little engine that could and the little engine that did and I love you all so very much and you have just a wonderful blessed day all right until next time, this is Miss Brewery. I love you. Bye-bye.